Hi everyone, I'm Kel and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, do me a silent and subscribe. And if you tuned in previously, thanks for joining. Today we're gonna be going over a few client building methods that I personally incorporated into my own business to help me reach the fully booked status. So if that's something that interests you, stay tuned and let's get into the video. So number one is one of my biggest tips, but we're gonna get deeper into it, okay? If you don't see yourself posting like a lot, you might as well quit while you're still ahead. Social media is a free resource that people use daily to build up clientele. And I'm gonna be honest, Instagram is where I got my start. But right now in 2024, you need to be utilizing platforms like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram of course, Facebook Reels, the list goes on and on. I urge people, whether they're new or they're just rebuilding their brand, to utilize different platforms and recycle your content. If you create a video on TikTok, that same video can get posted on Instagram, Facebook Reels, you can post it on Snapchat Spotlight, you can post it on Pinterest, they now have videos. You can post it on YouTube Shorts. Now that one piece of content has been shown over six different platforms. That's the bare minimum of work. If it doesn't go viral on one, it may go viral on another. It may not go viral on neither but at least someone's seen it. Another tip when posting, and I mentioned this on one of my previous videos, stop paying attention to the numbers. Somebody may get 3,000 likes, you may get 50. Again, if there were 50 people in the room with me right now, it'd be a party. Please don't pay attention to the numbers. Just as long as somebody's seen it, be grateful. If you're actually filming and putting out the content, give yourself grace. Your time will come. Be patient. I oftentimes hear people say, well, I don't have any clients to actually get content to post. Tape models for free, yes, emphasis on free, or for a discounted price. I really push people, especially when you're new to take models or canvases for free because you're gonna get in people way quicker. I took models for free almost five years ago when I started doing individuals as well as back last year before I started offering cluster lashes. And y'all, when I tell you, it makes all of the difference. It is very hard to show your work when you do not have canvases to show them on. The beauty industry is visual, meaning if I like your lashes, I'm gonna ask who did them. Oh girl, I love your hair. Who did it? Your makeup, fabulous. Who does it? You need to be able to show your work in other ways other than just social media. But I cannot tell y'all how many clients I've accumulated over the years doing individuals and over the past few months doing clusters just off of people seeing them out in public and then going to my website and booking. Word of mouth is one of the most slept on ways to get new clientele in. And when offering a service for free or either a discounted price, you're getting more people in way quicker. You can either post on your social platforms that you're taking models or you can use my preferred method, which is a more personal approach. When I first started, I would put my inspector gadget skills to the test. I would go through my friends followers list and pick out who may not wear lashes often or people who may wear lashes all the time. And I would just inquire. Yes, I was DMing randoms to ask if they would like to be a canvas to showcase my work. And the worst they can say is either no or leave you on scene. But the best thing they could say was yes. And I received quite a few yeses using this method. When building a beauty business and wanting to obtain clientele, you have to put your pride aside. Getting out content and showing your work should be the number one priority aside from learning the actual craft. So get it done and stop the excuses. Number two, you've gotten your models, now it's time to create. A lot of people struggle with creating when honestly, this is the easiest part when it comes to building a beauty brand. Once you get your models in, go to work. You can shoot befores and afters. So taking content of the client's face before you do the set, the makeup, the brows, what have you, and then flip it, do an after. You can do the cute TikTok trendy videos. And my personal favorite, just to pan out of your client's face in different angles and just putting some music behind it. I use the app CapCut and it allows you to take music or a sound from any video you like and paste it to the video. I typically match up the cuts to the music beats. But CapCut also has a feature to where they'll do it for you. Make sure when you're filming, you're using the proper lighting setup and always, always, always wipe your lens with a paper towel and some Windex, lens cleaning wipes, just make sure your lens is wiped. If your model isn't as comfortable about their blemishes or dark spots, you can use apps like TikTok, the blur feature, or even Facetune to blur everything out. Now you've shot your model and you've edited your video, let's talk about how to properly post. When posting on any of these platforms, make sure you're utilizing the proper hashtags. And yes, hashtags are so 2017, but they work. 
Utilize your location as an advantage. So you not only wanna hashtag your location in the service that you provide, but also surrounding cities, towns, colleges, etc. This is gonna help you reach a larger audience base on the platforms. So let's say you offer lashes here in Atlanta. Of course you can hashtag ATL lash take, ATL lash artist, but you can also add Midtown lash artist, Buckhead lash take, Georgia State lashes, you get what I'm saying? Utilize the surrounding areas to reach a larger audience. Number three, so you've gotten your model, you've created your content and you've posted it. Now how do we appeal to the actual paying clientele? Your professional page and booking website needs to be clean, informative, and inviting. Your potential clients should not have to search to figure out what area you're located in. Have your city location already in the bio for easy access. Also, that whole booking through DMs thing, gotta go. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner. Acuity scheduling has plans as low as I wanna say like $30 a month. Invest into your business early on so people look at you as professional and take you serious. Even if you're new, you need to look like you have it all together. And I'm gonna be the bearer of bad news when I say this, but not too many potentials are fond of going to someone when they know that they're new at providing a service. And that's okay because you're gonna be taking your models, posting your content, and by now you have your booking site. Y'all ain't tell, oh y'all wrong. Oh y'all are wrong for not telling me I had this white ring around my lip. What? Another tip when it comes to your booking site is every rule that you have listed in your policy, make sure you're following it starting off as a beginner. Have rules and regulations in place that you also follow as the tech or as the artist yourself. Create boundaries and make sure you put your foot down. Someone comes to you and they're like, hey, I don't have enough for the deposit, but can I go ahead and book? No, ma'am. I push to be stern on your policy first starting off because it's not even going to give people the option to play with you or your business. If you take your craft serious, your potential clientele will peep that you do too and it adds value to your business. Number four, which will be the last and final tip that I have, create an experience once you get your clients in. Being an individual lash take starting years and years ago, it would take me about four hours to complete one set. You have to be a very, very patient person to say, you know what, I'm gonna lay on this table and I'm gonna get this set and I'm gonna come back in three weeks, okay? It's a lot, but that's when your personality your professionalism and your customer service needs to shine through. You could literally be the best at whatever you provide, but if your character is not on point, people peep. And from the time that that potential client walks through your door, you're on center stage. Show that you're a professional and you know exactly what you're doing. Confirm the service that the client booked. I can't tell y'all how many times people have come in and they book for a mega volume and they're like, oh, I love a good natural set. I like a natural look. Like I just want it to be less dramatic. Listen to what the clients are saying because a lot of times they don't know what they want. If you're providing a service that offers feels to where the client is gonna have to come back, speak on the importance of maintenance while you're doing the set. Towards the ending of the service, talk about aftercare so they can maintenance at home. And just make sure that you're being friendly and inviting so that that client feels comfortable. More people than you know suffer with social anxiety, so making people feel right at home is super important when you're a service provider. Lastly, make sure the service lives up to the standard that you set from the time you posted the content. Remember that first impressions are lasting impressions, and if you get it right the first time, you may just have a lifelong client. I hope you found this information super helpful. All Lash courses will be linked down in the description box as well as my blog vlogging channel go check that out and make sure to comment like and subscribe i'll see y'all next time bye